Hi everyone, I'm Phil from statisticsmentor.com and today I'm going to show you how to do two things with graphs. One is how to show you how to change graphs from being a color one to one with patterns and this is useful when we're printing out graphs for a dissertation or a journal paper. And the other thing is I'm going to show you how to add labels onto your graphs. By labels I mean here the percentages and the counts. To do this I'm going to show you using an example of sporting data here and what we've got is sport and in this sample we've got competitors in various sports. I'm going to create a pie chart from that. Call it a pie chart can be used for categorical variables. So we go to graphs, legacy dialogues, pie. Select summaries for groups of cases, and then we transfer over from uh, this column, sport, in to here, define slices by. At this point, we can ask it to represent cases number of cases, percentage of cases, sum of variables. Let's just leave that for now. Right, so here's the pie chart. Now you can see it might look nice in all its glorious technicolor, but for a journal or a dissertation you, you want to be printing black and white you don't get extra marks for a dissertation by having the thing in colour. Alright, so how do I get it into patterns as opposed to colour? Well, double click on the chart, anywhere in the chart, to bring up the chart editor. Alright, now, yes, now what we do is we double click on the chart, it brings up the pop-up pop box called properties, click on the tab variables, now under variables, we go to the name of the variable, which is sport, and we can see here the options. It's giving us the slices, which we see style. At the moment it's in colour, so we click on that, and we can see that we've got various options. Dash, pattern. Click on style pattern, and apply. And, hey presto. There you go. So now everything is black and white and we can print this. Obviously this looks a bit more of a mess because I have so many categories in this example. Okay, next I want to see what kind of percentages each of these slices make up of this chart. So to do that, double click anywhere within the pie chart. Actually, you could just do a single click and not double click. Single click anywhere in the pie chart, a yellow halo appears right around the circumference of this pie chart. Click on elements and click show data labels. The properties box appears and we click on the tab called data value labels. Displayed percentage. Can you see already percentages are displayed for each of the segments? Not displayed, sport and count. Well, if we transfer count up there, you'll see what happens. Well, it doesn't show you automatically. We'll go apply. Okay, now you can see under each box it gives you the actual frequency, the count, the number of participants in that sport as well as the percentage. If you want to also name the sport as well you could transfer that up into the box and go apply. And there you are, now the sports appears there. Now because I've got so many segments these kind of labels are overlapping each other making it hard to see what's going on. So say if in this kind of situation you would go to label position and basically I can move these labels around. Either you can do it manually 
click on manual and then you can just drag them around or you can use custom custom here I can it says here I can label outside the pie chart or within the pie chart if I go outside and apply you see the labels now have moved out so I can close this let's see how it looks now that looks okay doesn't it close this data editor window data editor the chart editor window sorry and here is my pie chart so converted the colors into patterns as is standard in journal papers as in black and white and also I have labels for each of the segments okay I think that's pretty useful hope you found that too bye for now